Hey gang, have you ever listened to a cover of a song and thought, man, that was just way better than the original? Well, that's exactly what happened to me when I first heard this song, and what really elevated it was the guitar solo in it. We're going to talk about the song and the solo coming right up. Now, there are lots of cool Halloween-based songs, like Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon, and there are some great guitar solos in those songs, like Buck Dharma's Don't Fear the Reaper, or Jake Lee in Bark at the Moon. But my fave is the Atlanta Rhythm Section's cover of Spooky with Barry Bailey on guitar. Why, you might ask? Well, mainly because the original Spooky, done in 1967 by Classics 4, is kind of an ordinary pop song. I mean, heck, it was even covered by Andy Williams and Lawrence Welk. But the ARS version really moves and grooves. And Barry Bailey's funky solo is not that intimidating like some of the other solos that we just talked about, but it is deceptively simple. So let's have a look at it or listen to it first, and then we'll check it out in detail. <laughs> So what's going on with the solo? Well, as usual, we're going to look at the chords, and that's going to tell us where to start. Now the basic chords are basically F minor 7 to B flat 13. And if we simplify that a little bit, we get an F minor to a V flat 7, which is a 2-5 in the key of E flat. So that gives us three obvious choices for thinking about this. Number one, the F minor pentatonic. Number two, the F minor, or the F blues scale, I should say, which is very similar to the minor pentatonic. And number three, we can even look at it as the F Dorian, which is the second degree of the E flat major scale, right? So all three of those are fine. Barry Bailey used the F blues scale as the primary palette for designing the solo or for improvising it, whatever he did. He was a great improviser. Hey, if you're digging this lesson and you want more, more licks, backing tracks, other songs, other players, interaction through live stream and even Zoom calls, why don't you check out the members site in the link below. Why don't you try it out? If you like it, join as a member. Love to have you. So why is this such a great and memorable solo? Well, let's break it down line by line to see if we can find some clues. Here's the first line. Right out of the gate, Barry Bailey hits us with the melody of the song. Now, it's not a secret at all that if you incorporate the melody of the song or other melodies into your solo, that those ideas really resonate well with an audience. And I tell this to all my students, learn as many melodies as you can, because then there are ideas that you can use in solos, even if you don't use them verbatim. Here it's used verbatim, very, very memorable. Let's go on to the next line. Hey, did that sound similar? <laughs> yeah. Using the time-tested technique of call and response. Another very, very powerful motif that you can use. If you find something that's good, repeat it in another octave. So you basically just play the same line, but an octave up. Want to notice one other thing. He's using a lot of pinch harmonics. So anywhere where you can put in a pinch harmonic, it's going to sound good. It's a nice little effect that's going on there. All right, here's the third line. Hey, 
At this point, he's breaking off and starting to do his own lines here. What I really like about this line is kind of how it skips, skips the strings. <laughs> Got a full step bend with the first finger also. And then that last part, that's a technique that's good to know if you're gonna play any sort of blues related things. It's basically a back rake. What I'm doing is I'm blocking strings and coming only and hitting on the last string that I'm playing. The next line is where the band stops, line four. Now I really love this line because he position shifts and he's got that double pull off. Now you can either think of it as moving from our bread and butter, our position number one, minor pentatonic, to position five, minor pentatonic, one toward the nut. That's fine. I actually don't think of it that way. I think in terms of the major scale and that gives me a couple of extra notes. Now what those two extra notes do, they can allow me to do that pull-off sequence that Barry Bailey did, which is nice, but there's also lots of little flashy sort of rock and roll things that really lend themselves to this position. It's a great one to learn. Really cool stuff you can play out of that position. The next one kind of gets us back into the groove. probably notice we went back into the bread and butter position again, that regular minor pentatonic, and we're ending up, we're playing some very typical sort of blues lines here. Here's the last line and it goes out with a bang. This solo really tells a story, doesn't it? It starts low, eventually goes high and ends with a real bang, a climax, and then that's the end of it. All right, so if you like this one, I bet you're going to like this video as well. Happy Halloween, and we'll see you on down the road.